A number of tests can be done to try to diagnose the cause of fainting. The most common test done in an office is an electrocardiogram, which is simply an electrical recording of the heart to try to determine if there's evidence of a heart rhythm problem or electrical disease of the heart. An echocardiogram is frequently done. This is a sound wave test that allows us to get a picture of the beating heart to see if there's a heart muscle problem or perhaps some valvular problems within the heart. A test that's commonly done is a tilt table test, usually to diagnose vasovagal syncope. This is also known as a standing test because the patient is simply placed in a standing position with a tilting table. Usually the patient is placed at an angle of about 60 to 70 degrees, and then we monitor the blood pressure and the heart rate over the course of 20 or 30 minutes. In people with vasovagal syncope, sometimes that alone will precipitate a faint. If we suspect a heart rhythm abnormality, then extended monitoring is often done. Sometimes a patient can wear a monitor for up to two weeks, but often we have to do a provocative study known as an electrophysiologic study. This is a simple, safe test involving wires that are inserted into a vein to try to reproduce a heart rhythm disturbance that may be causing the fainting. In people who have infrequent episodes of fainting and those patients have no obvious cause for fainting, we sometimes recommend an implantable monitor. This is a small device that can last up to three years and it's inserted under the skin in a simple surgical procedure. This is able to record heart rhythm disturbances that may be resulting in syncope.